guys. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to talk a little bit about setting up an experiment. And when you set up an experiment, you're usually questioning something. And there has to be something behind that question. It's obviously your curiosity in something. But also what you're probably thinking about is how is this going to happen? Or what is going to happen? What is going to be the outcome of this? What will influence the thing that I am observing? And so it's all about a relationship between what you're curious about and what you think might happen. And so today I'm going to talk about two things. Today I'm going to talk about variables and I'm going to talk about hypothesis. And both of those things are actually the backbone to any experiment. They're the things that get you started. They're the fuse that get you ignited. And that all goes back to your curiosity in whatever it is that you're exploring. Now, with Open Inquiry, you can ask any question that you want to and explore it in different ways. But you need to start with that relationship, and it has to deal with two things. It has to deal with two types of variables. And those are the things that are really what we are looking at very specifically in our experiment. You have your independent variable and your dependent variable. Your independent variable is what you are actually changing. So if you're doing an experiment that's testing different types of bubblegum, then you the different types of bubblegum is what you are changing. You don't quite know what the outcome of it is going to be, but you do know that you are going to try out different types of bubblegum. Now, the other variable, your dependent variable, that is what you are measuring. That is what you are observing in this experiment. That is what's going to have a lot of information in the data table in your lab notebook. Your dependent variable is what you measure. Are you going to measure the time? Are you going to measure the size of the bubble that you blow with this different types of bubble gum? What is it that you're going to be doing in this experiment? That's what you have to really talk out and figure out either with yourself or with your lab partner or with your lab group that you're working with. What is it that you are measuring and keeping data on? That's your dependent variable. In most situations, you want to know which is going to be the best performing variable or if there is actually any change that is shown through your dependent variable. Okay. And that is an important thing to think about, and it really helps to guide you into your procedures, which we'll talk about later in another video. But as you're thinking about these two things, your independent and your dependent variables, it's obviously you're going to start to lead into some predictions, and your hypothesis is a form of a prediction. Okay? Obviously, you might have heard when you think about hypothesis that a hypothesis is an educated guess. Well. Have you ever really thought about what makes it educated? Is it because you're in school? Does that make it educated? An educated guess is more than that, okay? Your educated guess needs to be based on something that makes you educated about the topic that you're learning about. Okay? Maybe it is some observation that you've done with some of the substances and materials that you've worked with. So observations could help to make you more educated. Maybe it's about some background research that you've done about your independent variables that you're working with. That definitely makes you more educated. Okay? So you need to think about educated as more than just, I'm just going to throw something down. Your hypothesis is really important because that's really going to help you set up your procedure because you think it's going to turn out one way and it might turn out a completely different way. So uh, I want us to not think about a hypothesis being something that you can throw away. I want us to think about a hypothesis as something that we can really use to learn more about our topic. And so there's no more of this, I'm making my hypothesis after I've done my experiment, or that my hypothesis has to be completely correct, and I'm going to erase this hypothesis that was wrong, and I'm going to write a new one in. No more. Okay? Your hypothesis needs to be something that you really think about before you begin your experiment. So, this is what I'm going to instate this year. This is something new. And 
I am going to ask for any experiment that I ask you to hypothesize for that you create two hypotheses. Now that might be something that comes through conversation that you have with either your lab partner or your lab group, but it might come from you yourself. You, The more educated that you are about your topic, the more different ways that you can see the outcome. If you've ever been able to see a problem or a question or issue and been able to argue both sides of it, that is kind of how it's going to be. Once you become more educated about your topic, you are going to be able to hypothesize lots of different ways that this might turn out. So I'm going to ask for you to come up with two specific and different hypotheses for each of the experiments that we do this year in 8th grade science. Now, in your hypothesis, you do want to have that relationship linking back to our independent and dependent variables. That needs to be in each of the hypotheses that you write. So let's take a look at this. If our independent and dependent variables are this, you can see clearly that in the hypothesis, that is where you have both of them in there. It shows that if I observe this, then this is what my outcome is for my independent variable. So hopefully that makes sense, and if you have any questions about hypothesis or variables, please let me know. I know that you've talked a lot about independent and dependent variables in the past, and it's something that some kids get down right away, but other students might have to work at it. Oh, you decided to join our video. Um, it's something that is important for you to know and for you to memorize. And the sooner that you have an understanding of that, the easier it's going to be for you the rest of this year. So if you have any questions about either of those things, feel free to email me or ask me any questions in class. I am here to help. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I am super excited to see the different kind of experiments you create this year. See you later.